April 4th, 1983, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the setting for one of the most iconic games in NCAA tournament history that saw a group of kids most people probably had never heard of, led by a wisecracking renegade coach, crown national champions. See, the likelihood that Jim Valvano's NC State Wolfpack would even score an invite to the tourney was improbable at best. To get there would require them to win the ACC tournament, beating two of the best teams in the nation in Virginia and Michael Jordan's Tar Heels in the process. But they did it. And then they kept on doing it throughout the big dance, taking down powerhouses like UNLV, Georgia, Virginia, again, often by the skin of their teeth. In fact, the Wolfpack had trailed in the final minute in seven of their last nine games. But here they were in the biggest dance of them all, facing a Houston team that was the best in the NCAA. The co-op they called the Cardiac Kids had a chance to become heroes. Now, the Wolfpack were eight-point underdogs heading into the final, and justifiably so. See, Houston was good, really good. The roster featured names like Clyde Drexler and Akeem Olajuwon. They were riding a 26-game winning streak. They were big, they were explosive. Their nickname was Phi Slam and Jamma, for God's sake. There was no way this group of nobodies out of Raleigh, North Carolina could take down Goliath, right? Uh, wrong. Behind savvy gameplay orchestrated by Coach Valvano and tremendous sharpshooting by Derek Wittenberg, the Wolfpack, as they had done throughout the tournament, clawed their way back, erasing a seven-point second-half deficit to tie it up at 52. Two minutes left. Two minutes to prove to the country this so-called team of destiny was just that. It all came down to one final play drawn up by Coach V that would put the ball in the hot hands of Wittenberg in the closing seconds, but instead, it turned into a desperation heave from 30 feet out that, much like the Wolfpack's championship dreams, appeared to come up short as time was set to expire. <laughs> And then, two seconds left, the fateful hands of Lorenzo Charles found the ball mid-air, slamming it through the iron, transforming destiny into reality, and the rest, as they say, is history. Who can forget the images of Coach B maniacally running around after the final buzzer, just looking for someone, anybody to embrace, or the Houston players desolate in defeat, pounding their fists on the court, unable to comprehend how what just happened, happened. But it did happen. Jim Valvano and the NC State Wolfpack became champions that night. They also became heroes.